Hi, I'm Dr. John Caffrey and I head up the Invasive Species Unit in Inland Fisheries Ireland. Today, uh, a typical Irish June day, wet, windy, but warm. We're here by the banks of the River Barrow. The Barrow is just over that tree line there. What brings us here today is one of our high priority invasive riparian plant species, the Himalayan balsam. This is the Himalayan balsam behind me, and uh, you will note that it's a particularly attractive plant, a plant that goes to about two meters in height. But the problem associated with the Himalayan balsam is that where it becomes established, particularly in, along river banks, it grows profusely and it grows densely. Uh, in that mode, it very rapidly outcompetes the native plants. And these are the plants, the grasses and the herbs that bind the banks together and that provide resistance to erosive winter flows. So when Himalayan balsam dies back in autumn, it leaves the banks susceptible to winter flows, to erosion and to possible bankside subsidence. So what I want to do today is I want to show you the main features of the Himalayan balsam Latin name Impatiens glandulifera. Show you the main features of this plant that will help you identify it. In another clip, we're going to actually talk about control and show you some control methodology. You will note that this is a particularly attractive plant. It was brought in as an ornamental uh, in the last century. Uh, we reckon around the 1880s or so simply because it is such an attractive plant. Um, main feature would be the bright green leaves, but more commonly the beautiful pink trumpet-shaped flowers. Some of the main features, the plant, as you'll see, grows to a maximum of two meters in height. The stem is quite characteristic. The stem is very fleshy, it's hairless, it's ridged or even hexagonal in shape and you will know from the cut section here that it is totally hollow. The leaves, they're born in pairs but more commonly in whorls of three, occasionally four. The leaves have a lovely bright bright green colour very typically oval shaped, pointed and very serrated edges. Commonly they have a pink midrib which you should be able to see here. Again very characteristic leaves. The flower itself again a very very attractive flower. It's trumpet or slipper shaped and born at the top of the plant. This lasts only a very few days, maybe a week at most. Uh, and generally the flowering season tends to be mid to late June. At the moment, we don't have any seed heads, but it has a, a very characteristic exploding seed head. So when mature, if you touch the seed head, which will appear in the next three or so weeks, it will explode, sending up to two and a half thousand seeds upwards of five meters away from the parent plant. One very characteristic feature of Himalayan balsam and one that we use to control this plant is the fact that it has very weak and very shallow roots. Hence it is very easy to extract from the ground. Just a slight tug removes it from the ground. This is a plant and it is as easy as that, just a very gentle tug removes it from the ground. You will note a very small ball of roots, doesn't root deeply into the ground and can be removed easily. Because of this root structure and because the fact that the seeds have very reduced longevity, the seeds are viable for one and at a maximum two years. We reckon that it is possible to eradicate this 
aggressive invasive species from riverbanks simply by pulling the plant before it seeds. This is an operation that must be conducted over two years. And in the next clip, I want to show you some work that is ongoing with Inland Fisheries Ireland on the banks of the River Barrow, aiming to eradicate this quite pretty but highly invasive plant from this system.